You probably already know that I have a puppy right now and he's a great sleeper but still still it's exhausting. I've been up for several hours now. It is half past nine. I've been up since half past five. I am currently just trying to finish my other video. It was the speed paint about the steampunk astronomical clock. I'm going to try and finish that and I also want to get him to be calm under my desk. That's the plan. I know expectations are low. It is a good day if he doesn't pee or poop on my carpet again and if I am able to do some art. But first I need to voice over my video. Welcome to my watercolor speed paint. I want to take a moment to talk about the dog, the puppy. He is a Sheltie, or also called Shetland Sheepdog, which means this breed comes from the Shetland Islands. They will look like a collie, but much smaller, somewhat like this. He will have three colors, sable, black and white. He is on the smaller side, he will weigh up to 8 kilograms and grow 38 centimeters tall. He is very cute and there are several reasons why my husband and I decided on a Shetland Sheepdog. First off, they are incredibly intelligent. You can do lots of tricks, you can train them. It can also be helpful when you are volunteering, for example in a senior home or a kindergarten because they are so very empathetic and sensitive to their surroundings. He wants to work with you and he wants to achieve what you are trying to tell him to do, so they are very responsive and attentive. That is also a con on the other side, he is a barker. They also want to get your attention and they are very talkative, otherwise they are pretty robust. But, just like any other puppy, extremely demanding, demanding my attention, demanding my energy and I was unable to do any art that day. And spoiler alert, also the following day. But let's see how that goes. Currently I am kind of stressed. I can't remember when I was this stressed the last time. <laughs> It is the mix of not knowing what the puppy Dino wants, definitely being sleep deprived and <coughs> barking. Yeah. One of the things I can do when I'm too stressed to do actual art is simply take care of my art utensils. And in that moment I decide I'm gonna take care of my pencils and simply sharpen them. Other times I will clean my brushes with some brush soap, anything that helps me organize my art supplies and that way I still feel like I'm keeping up the routine of creating art even though I am not. So I'm still trying to train him to relax in this room. Currently he's eating just below my desk but he is in his box in his kennel. So far he only sleeps in the studio in his kennel and he has still trouble lying down if he's outside. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting barked at a lot. Um, I'm not really able to do any art at all because while you have to ignore him, of course I am acting like I'm ignoring him. I still need to know if he's chewing the, the electricity outlet and I have to put a plug in there so that he won't reach it or if he is eating something he's not supposed to eat. When you hear chewing and he is quiet, that's when you need to watch out what he is eating. You know, when we are walking outside, sometimes it is still very early in the morning. Today he slept until half past six. So I've been out 
when it when it was still dark. The trees look incredible in the dusk light. I saw a tree which just looked exactly like an old man's face. I didn't have my phone with me, otherwise I would have taken a picture. But I wanted to draw something like this. So I'm gonna sneak out of the room for a second and get some lip balm because from being outside so much my skin is really dry. I'm gonna get my lip balm very quietly and then maybe I can start painting. Yep, yep. You see, I put him in the kennel and immediately he is out. And for the last 30 minutes he struggled, he really struggled to stay awake because he was unable to just lie down and relax. But we're gonna, we're gonna get to that eventually. Yeah, sorry, I'm just uh, doing all the things uh, I don't find the time to while he's awake. <laughs> we'll get to the yard in a second, I promise. Also hydrate.
Okay, I finished the spread. I think it looks cute. And now that I kind of established for the dog that I am painting in this space and that he needs to settle down and he currently is sleeping in the center below my chair, which is very dangerous. I need to be aware of that. Anyways, he's now sleeping and I think he's getting the overall settle down and working vibe of this room. Now I can start with the real projects. This spread, I started it two days ago, so <laughs> you can imagine how much time I am able to spend each day on painting and I'm trying to increase it every day. I need to get on several Christmas presents. As always, just like last year, I promised too much handmade stuff. Painted portraits and things like that. Mobiles because someone is having a baby. I need to get going with that. First step, I'll make a list. List everything I need to get done in the next two weeks. Fun, 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 fun. Francis, why are you not working ahead of time? Why are you waiting until you have a little puppy? Okay, so I need gifts for my mom, my dad, my in-laws, my in-law, my my grandparents-in-law. Is that a thing? They 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 do get a painting. My siblings, my husband, my best friend. I think that's it. Okay, I can't say out loud what some of these people get because some of them are watching my channel. I'm gonna write this out and then I'll start with my first project. First I had a little cleaning session. One thing I wanna get better at this year is cleaning between my projects. Every now and then I find, for example, gouache on my desk and I'm like, first off, I haven't noticed it um, at all. And second, when was the last time I used gouache? That keeps happening and I need to clean more often to avoid that. Today I will finish the one thing I really need to get done before Christmas. It is for my grandparents-in-law, so the grandparents of my husband. I am painting something for his grandma. There is a cultural barrier, um, they are from Kazakhstan and I don't speak Russian unfortunately. I truly want to give her something she likes. It's very difficult with grandparents in general, but grandparents-in-law, <laughs> that's a whole different story. A while ago I asked her what her favorite bed was. And now bear with me, if you are not a native speaker like me, you will think this sounds quite interesting. There is um, a subbreed of birds, they are called tits. They are very common in Europe and there are great tits, there are blue tits 
And then there is this uh, long-tailed tit. Anyways, I'm going to draw that for my grandmother-in-law. A long-tailed tit. I will do it on watercolor paper. I have this Hanemüller 100% uh, cotton. I wanted the motif, which I painted on my iPad and then printed out on transparent paper. I wanted it to be uh, much smaller than the watercolor pad, so that she would be able to say how large she wants to frame it. First step is to use some transfer paper and get the motif onto the watercolor paper sheet. Well, we wake. I love my little handheld scalpel and all the different things I can put in front of it. If I don't want to use it as a scalpel, I put this in there and now I can trace it. Ground wash I did there. I wanted it to have green muddy colors. I started with one single wash where I kept adding in different colors. I started with a dark green, I added in some brown, um, English red, ochre and tried to give the background dimension. I'm still struggling to create a flat layer of color with watercolor that is uh, covering large surfaces and I find it very helpful to have all the color I need ready so I don't waste valuable time mixing new paint. Those are seconds that can change the outcome of the piece. I also added salt because I thought the effect would be nice in this scene. When you add in salt on top of your paint, like a sponge, it will absorb some water. And as soon as the paint has dried, it creates these crystals in the middle of your paint wash. You can see it in a second. I am using salt later on again. And I am quite happy with the outcome. Now, because I had so many projects and there was so much to do in December, I had to cut this vlog in half 
There will be a second part. You will also see a little preview at the end of the video. But just a heads up, this is the last art piece for this vlog. I will let the music take over and you can see how I created this piece. If you have any questions about it, I'd love to hear them. And also, I want to do a Find Your Art Medium video, not next, but in the video after that. What medium would you like to see? What should I present to you? And what questions do you have about it? Please let me know in the comments. Also, if you enjoy content like this, you can maybe click the like button so that I know to create more of it or even subscribe if you haven't already. And then I'll see you hopefully in the next video. I talked about the mobile for the pregnant friend. 